One day after five white men recommended three other white men to be the next TBI director, the final decision now belongs to Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam. But the governor says there's not much he can do about the diversity issue or the controversy over how the lone female candidate was treated. News Channel 5 chief investigative reporter Phil Williams caught up with the governor. Phil. Well, the governor told me he hopes to appoint a new TBI director in the next three or four weeks. In the process, he promises a full investigation of the person he'll eventually name as Tennessee's top cop. It's an important decision because once that person's in place, they're pretty much operating on their own. For the governor, it's a hand dealt for him by this five member nominating commission set up by the legislature. All of them men, all of them white, all of them 60 or older. Good morning. My so when the Marge lone Quinn. female finalist, retired Special Agent Margie Quinn, suggested the state's top law enforcement agency was in some ways on the wrong track. Hard to defend hiring decisions and a management culture resistant to oversight and accountability. She found herself being berated. It's been on the right track. By Kingsport attorney Jack Vaughn for not having fixed the problems herself. How can you sit here and convince us that, that you can straighten this out when you had 20 years to do it and did nothing? None of the three men whose names were sent to the governor faced such hostile questioning. Uh, we have kind of an interesting challenge in that we, we, we want to, I will, we'll personally interview them, but we also want to do background checks. Well, typically TBI is who does background checks, so we've got to figure out who's going to do the background checks for us. Well, I think it's good to have the independent investigations that are conducted. Among the final nominees, former Bradley County Sheriff Tim Gobble was never asked about controversies that have dogged his career, including questions about the circumstances under which he left a job with the U.S. Secret Service. I hold the reputation of the Bureau in the highest regard and vow never to compromise its integrity. TBI Deputy Director Jason Locke was not asked about the hiring of his son Hunter as a special agent, raising questions about whether the father's appointment as director would violate Tennessee's law against nepotism. I've dedicated nearly half my life to law enforcement in Tennessee. And Knoxville Police Chief David Roush was not asked about reports of him making courtesy calls, warning UT's football coach when players were accused of rape. He's also faced criticism for spending 116 days out of the office last year. My job is to take those three names, and you have the ability to turn the three back in if you don't think any are qualified, but we'll do our due diligence to make certain that one of those folks is the right person to be the next head of TBI. Now, one other curious note, there was also one African-American finalist who was interviewed. In an odd moment, the nominating commission decided to take a break right in the middle of his interview. That did not happen to any of the other candidates. You can go to newschannel5.com to see some of the exchanges for yourself. Vicki.